and welcome to moving day. This is the third round of the 2010 USDGC and there's a good chance that there'll be some separation in the field today. Nico LeCastro, Will Shoestrick, they're gonna battle it out all the way to the end. And if somebody doesn't do something today, they could separate themselves even further. Now, before the round started, I ran down Kale LaVisca from Minnesota. Let's go over and talk to Kale for just a minute. Here with Minnesota's finest, this is Kel LaVisca. Kel, how are you this afternoon? I'm doing very well, Billy, thanks. <laughs> Beautiful day out here for golf, man. Uh, you personally, I feel, are in the prime of your career. Uh, you're no longer a newbie, you understand the sport, you've put yourself in position. What's it gonna take for you to win your first major, Kel? You know, it's gonna take some, some ferocity. You know, I'm, I still like, you know, I think of myself sometimes as just coming on the scene, but I, this is my sixth year here. You know, I, I know how to play this course. I know what it takes to win. Uh, I have come close a couple times, and with my game, I'm not, out here. I'm just trying to, to play it pretty safe, especially the first couple rounds. Keep it in the ropes. Well, you've got a strong mental game, along with the assets and the tools that you bring in your bag, uh, and that's why for us uh, out here, we're waiting on you to make that move because we know the mind is strong enough. Yeah, and I figure, you know, now's the time to do it. We got two rounds left out here. Started going for a little bit more, putting the, putting the charge on. I'm, I think I'm five or six strokes back, so I know things can change really fast out here. And if, if I post a couple, you know, high 50s, I think I think that'll, you know, well, put put me in contention to be right up there for the lead. If you play, and, and I'm not talking perfect, but I mean, you know, everybody has their goal when they leave the hotel room. Yeah. What's the best you can post today and tomorrow? Ooh, the best I can post, you know, I'm. Like I said, I'm gonna switch up my mentality a little bit. There's a couple holes I've been playing safe, and I think if I play if I play everything perfect, you know, a 56, 57 is possible. But I'd be happy, I'd be happy with you know low 60s, high 50s any day out here. Well, we'll change the mood a little bit, uh, sorta. We'll start with the baseball back home in Minnesota, and uh, I think you guys, I think Steinbrenner might have bought you guys at one point because they seem to own you, and I, and I know that's hard to take because you guys are a big baseball. You personally, you have a lot of blood and, and love for baseball, and the catcher is one of your better friends growing up. So, yeah. I, you know, I know you envision being on that field actually <laughs> yeah. at times. How's that to take? Oh, uh, it's 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 very tough to take. You know, we've been, we've had such a good squad for the last couple of years, and the Yankees swept us last year. It looks like up 2-0 oh, going yeah, home. It's looking not not too good for them this year as well. So hopefully they can you know at least get one game out there in New York. Well, we will change the mood now as we'll talk about Sundays. Uh, I know you're real happy that Brett Favre came back, and now you got Randy Moss back. So what's the feeling there? Uh, can you wait for the I, game Sunday? Oh, I cannot wait. I haven't been home since that news came out, but I know Brett Favre is very excited about having a, a long thread again with Sidney Rice out. So. I'm looking very forward to Sunday and the whole season. Well, Kel LaVisca by Sunday, hopefully he'll be the new champion here at the tournament. He's looking to win his first major. Good luck in the next two rounds, Kel. All right, Billy, thank you. Well, you can see Kale is positioning himself again for a major. He has not got one yet, but he's in the prime of his career and he has all the tools he needs and he's got the brain for it too. Now after Kale, we ran down Paul Uliberry. Paul was in charge of the world for most of the time. He's in position here at the USDGC again. He's looking for a big round here on moving day. Let's see what Paul's plans are. I'm here with Paul Uliberry and Paul, you're out of the Arizona area second at the professional world championships this year. This is moving day on Saturday or Friday here at the USDGC. You're sitting in third spot right now. You're not throwing any further than you threw six months ago. You're not putting any better. What changed for Paul Uliberry to get you in these positions on a regular situation? You know, I think it's just, you know, a confidence factor. Um, you know, I think every player, once they get to a certain point, they know that they're good enough to win at the highest level. And I think I'm almost there. I'm not there yet. We'll see this weekend, but uh, you know, I definitely feel like I can put myself in position every time now, and that's what's different. You know, it's just knowing that you can do it. Well, uh, where did that happen? Was it at the Worlds? Was it leading into the Worlds? I know we did an interview uh, before the Worlds in Ohio, and I almost insulted you in the interview because I told you some of the guys were out of the country, and that I felt like you had a better chance, and you didn't like that because you felt like you had a better chance if they were there or not. At, at what point did it kick in, and you realized that all you had to do was put it together mentally to be the player that you've become? Well, you know, I've been in. I've been in contention for these major championships, I think the last four majors that I played in. Um, took 12th in 09, 
uh, seventh last year here and second at the Worlds this year. So I put myself in the position to learn how to win. And, you know, it might come this time or it might not, but I take a learning experience from it every time and I learn from my mistakes and I learn from my success. So I think that's all it is. It's just all learning and, uh, you know, we'll see, we'll see what it leads up to this weekend. Well, that was my goal when I played. I always wanted to have, just have a chance with nine holes to go, and I felt like if I did that, then I had a good, good weekend, good competitive weekend. Now, let's talk a little something about uh, football. You're from the Arizona area. Are you an Arizona Cardinal? No, I'm a Pittsburgh fan. Oh, you're a Pittsburgh fan. Well, then you're having a big day today. This is, uh, I believe, week six of the NFL, week five. You got your boy back today, is that right? That's right. Ben's starting today. Uh, now we're going to get a little offense. I think we won the first two games with only one offensive touchdown. So today, hopefully, we'll get a couple more touchdowns and be 4-1, and one, I believe. Well, Paul Uliberry pulling for the Steelers this afternoon, but he's got a game plan. He's looking to move himself up onto that lead card for the final round tomorrow. Good luck this afternoon, Thanks, Paul. Man. Well, Paul Uliberry looking to put himself in that major spot again. That kid can throw it far, and I believe that he's got the mental aspects to hold on out here. We'll have to wait and see. Now, we also were lucky enough to run down Will Schustrick. He's from Knoxville in Tennessee, and he's got a grip on this tournament this week. Let's talk to the 18-year-old kid. Well, I am here with K-Town's finest. This is a young man, Will Schustrick. You're 18? Yep. You're out of school? Yep. What does that mean for the disc golf world next year, buddy? It means that I'll be everywhere. So you're going to be out. You're going to be at all the national tours. You're looking, you're on tour next year, officially. Yep, yep. officially. Well, you heard it here, right? Will Schuster, he's coming for you. Could have a major under his belt if the rest of the weekend continues the way it's gone so far. You're making a, a big move this week, man. Uh, you're really putting yourself in position. You came out yesterday, and Nico sort of started to run away a little bit. And then you just did the unthinkable out there in front of the college. Sam, tell me exactly what happened out there. Uh, you're talking about my throw-in? Your throw-in. Yeah, I had uh, my first drive landed on top of the hill on hole 12. I had a pretty good look at the eagle. I had to pick up some strokes somehow. So, you know, if I get up there, maybe get hopefully get a three, you know, it'll, you know, help me for the rest of the round with some confidence. My first shot skipped by the basket and went out of bounds long. And so I you're in on two, out on three, now yeah. throwing four. Yeah, and I walked back to my caddy, Jenna McDaniel, and was like, I just need just need to throw my ex, my champion X cow, and I just threw it wide enough and played the right to left wind, and it nailed the basket. I was just stunned for like two or three seconds. I was like, I can't even believe that. All the in. players went crazy. Kenny, yeah. I mean, all the elite guys were out there with yeah. you, and they just went crazy. Oh, yeah. That was a circle four, yeah. and at that point, you know, you're trying to make the move to run Nico down, and Nico threw three out of bounds in a row, yeah. so it obviously shook him up a little, yeah. and that really got you in position for today. You're only one back, and I want to ask you a question about, uh, I know that you and Chris Ork have traveled, and Chris is your mentor or was your mentor growing up, taught you how to play, got you around. And it looks to me like you're actually breaking away from your mentor a little bit, going out on your own. Is that what I'm seeing? Yeah, I mean, it's more of, I don't think it's really more of a, like a disc golf thing, more of like a life, you know, growing up, doing your own thing, going out on your well, own. Well, how old are you now? I turned 18 in May. There you go. Yeah. So you are starting to grow up. He doesn't appear 18. He's very mature for his age, and he can sling it, let me tell you. Now, with, with all these new changes going on, uh, you're finding yourself intermingling with different players and yeah. learning new things, yeah. and it seems to be helping yeah. your game. Yeah, definitely good for your game. It's always good to learn new things out there. Well, now, let's talk a little bit about football. You are from K-Town. Yep. That's in Tennessee. Are you a Titan or are you like Ulibarri? is Arizona, but he's a Pittsburgh fan. Who's your football team, Will? I like all the football teams except for the Patriots. Ah. <laughs> except them. So you're you're going to be pulling big this afternoon for the my cameraman is a big uh, Patriot fan by the uh, way. So uh, sorry with Moss leaving there, I guess you're excited about that because that's an opportunity for other teams yeah. To, yeah. to beat them down yeah. a little bit. Yeah. So what do you think it's going to take? You know, running Nico down, and with all these elite players running right up your bum, what's it going to take to hold them off and to pass Nico this weekend? Uh, just no mistakes really out there. You got to focus on every shot, any hole. You could go from, I can throw the easy shot and get the birdie, or I can you know, get a little farther, again, easier birdie, and then you can take a nine big numbers out there on any hole out here. That's a fact. So uh, what's your game plan going to be today? We've heard Kel LaVisca say he's going he's to put the pedal down today. He's going to get more aggressive. Since you're up in front, you're not doing very much chasing, only yeah. one stroke. Are you going to just let the game come to you, or are you yeah, going to go I out aggressive? I probably won't attack as I, 
attack as much as I will tomorrow. But today I'm just trying to look to get the easy birdies and try and not go out of bounds. Well, that's Will Schustrick, and he is in position to win the biggest major on the planet. Good luck the rest of the weekend, Thank Will. You. Well, you can see Will Schustrick, he's got a good head on his shoulders. 18 years old, he's going to be on tour next year, and these guys will have to deal with him at every event he shows up. It's going to be a pressure cooker the rest of the weekend. We'll see if he can hold on. Nico's really pushing him, and he's got a lot of top players moving right up the backside. Now, this has been day three. Be sure to come back tomorrow as we finish it up. We'll stay here for the final putt. This is the United States Disc Golf Championship 2010.